All right, everybody, we're getting about to get started. Uh, I'm in such a hurry, and I'm sorry last night's was super slow. I just got stuck, and y'all witnessed it. But we're not going to get stuck tonight. I'm in a hurry. So we're going to get through this quickly, quickly, quickly. And let's add one more in case we need it for studying sake. Remember, we ended up going through these last two verses, and um, now we're easing into 11, which is the king of the north, king of the south. Well, the king of the north is Trump. Now, some of this might go back to Old Testament days, and then some of it might morph in, but this does morph into the abomination that causes desolation. So the king of the north does. <laughs> So, but I think a lot of this, King of the North does this, King of the South does this. I don't know who the King of the South is. Uh, you can do your own studying on it. Uh, I'll respect whatever your opinion is. Um, I'm just not called to get into all that at this time in my life. As we are in these last days, my focus is really on Donald Trump, the Antichrist, and telling the New Testament truth and being very true and very... Um, opinionated about the book of revelation how it's laid out i'm about to do a part three on that where i'm going to color code um everywhere with a big color code block where it's antichrist a certain color uh where it's either the sealing and or removal of the church and where it's god's wrath so anyway let's go with Let's keep going with tonight. Then said he, knowest thou wherefore I came unto thee, and now I will return to fight the prince of Purges. So we found out, we realized that this was an angel from A to Z all along. This was not a reincarnate Jesus, nowhere in there. And we showed last night's Bible study why it was so confusing, because it seemed like he was going back and forth with his pronouns. It, it didn't speak, it spoke a different type of grammatical language that I just had to allow the Holy Spirit to help me overcome. And if it was Jesus and I just missed it, uh, my apologies. I'm not going to be dogmatic about it either way. Anyway, and when I am gone, we know this speaking is, is the angel because it's talking about going and fighting the Prince of Persia. When I am gone forth, lo, the Prince of Grisha shall come. But I will show thee which is noted in the scripture of truth, and there is none that holdeth with me in these things but Michael, your prince. To read that in the New Living, he replied, Do you know why I have come? Soon I must return to fight the spirit prince of the kingdom of Persia. And after that, the spirit prince of the kingdom of Greece will come. Meanwhile, I will tell you what is written in the book of truth. No one helps me. Against these spirit princes, except Michael, your spirit prince. I have been standing beside Michael to support and strengthen him since the first year of the reign of Darius the Mede. That's super interesting. Now then, I will reveal to you Reveal the truth to you. Three more Persian kings will reign to be succeeded by a fourth, far richer than the others. He will use his wealth to stir up everyone to fight against the kingdom of Greece. So this seems very Old Testament. This is not the Antichrist yet. and But it does, I think, ease into it. Unless these Persian kings and these um, the kingdom of Greece is somehow metaphors for just like the Antichrist has to have Assyrian in him and Roman in him. And of course, there were a Germanic tribe that had both. And Trump's name was once Drumpf from Germany. So he does have Assyrian and Roman in him. So unless it means, unless these somehow uh, mean bigger nations, but I, I'm folks, I have no idea. So 
just use your own dis discernment, do your own research, dig, dig, dig. I just don't have the time and I, I apologize for that. Then a mighty king will rise to power who will rule with great authority and accomplish everything he sets out to do. I think that could be the Antichrist. But at the height of his power, his kingdom will be broken apart and divided into four parts. He will not be ruled by the king's descendants, nor will the kingdom hold the authority it once had, for his empire will be uprooted and given to others. Well, that, that didn't sound like Trump did it. The king of the south will increase in power, but one of his own officials will become more powerful than he and will rule his kingdom with great strength. Just remember at the end, when we get to the end, the king of the north is the one that sets up the abomination that causes desolation. So as this continues, and we'll continue tomorrow, when, when he starts talking about the king of the north, just know that that's the Antichrist, Donald Trump. All right, let's continue, please, with Luke. Thus hath the Lord dealt with me in these days, wherein he looked on me to take away my reproach among men. So I believe this is talking about Zechariah. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent forth from God unto the city of Galilee named Nazareth. Because remember, this was talking about uh, the parents of John the Baptist and the coming of John the Baptist. But this sounds now like we're talking about Jesus because talking about Gabriel came into a city of Galilee named Nazareth and to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary. So obviously now we know what we're talking about. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when he saw, and when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. God, I'm getting emotional reading this. I think because my dad used to always get really emotional at pagan Christmas time. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Because we don't celebrate Christmas here. We know it's pagan. <clears throat> this is my way of celebrating the birth of Jesus. Just re when I come across it in the word of God. Period. Period. That's it. We don't celebrate it in celebration today. Because that's going back to the baby Jesus. Jesus isn't a baby. He sits at the right hand of God. So, sorry. Anyway, he shall be great. He shall be called son of the highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. He shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I am not, I know, not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore, also, that the holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Very good. Actually, we didn't even get to the part that my dad used to read and get emotional about on Christmas because that was later on in Luke, talking about a supposed with child and the whole manger scene and all that. But I don't know. That was just very powerful to read that because, I don't know, that was kind of like how Jesus came to be. All right, we are done. I wish they were all this fast for y'all. I'm sorry. Some of them drag. I love y'all very much. See you tomorrow. Good Lord willing.